Hey everyone, welcome back and welcome to the GraphQL section of the External API Basics. We're going to look not so much at the language, um, we'll do a little primer. We're primarily going to go through how this relates to Cornerstone. Now, as you can see, it's a query language for your API and based on this example here, you type in a sort of like JSON string and you get that exactly what you want back. Um, it's very useful for smaller requests, um, but as a downfall, it's, um, it's a learning curve. Um, so we're going to start slow and first start off with actually one of the examples they give on this website which is Star Wars. Um, this is some API that lets you query them and we're starting here because this is a very good UI of what you'll sometimes get. Um, so what's different I guess about the other um, documentation we looked at um, was that that was very much a request whereas this is more it's going to explain objects just as they are. Um, you can look through um, people, planets, um, we're just going to look at films right now so the query part um, you're pretty much always going to use query right here however it can say mutation which means that you're actually like updating data and you can also give these names for testing so this is your test query we're not going to bother with that and yet you'll see that the UI actually changed from that and you'll notice we see all films right here that's um, the connection we're getting um, the beautiful thing about uh, GraphQL is that if you we were also grabbing films and from the same endpoint we would we could also grab starships or something like that now since we cache for the most since you can cache with cornerstone that might not even matter combining it into two um, in fact I would probably stick with looping through one collection at a time like this we're seeing on the right um, just to make it a little cleaner and documentation for a GraphQL can vary but for the most part they'll let you select fields and stuff like that so um, by default this is what it grabs when you're on this um, but by adding this one's a little nice because you can press plus and then with that it adds editor and episode ID and then if I pressed run I would get that and real quick, real quick, we're going to look at Cornerstone now. Um, we're in the API tester. We've, we're in the external API. Um, I posted in the URL. Should be good there. And what's different that we haven't looked at is the request type is now GraphQL. And if we open this up, you can see we've got a similar explorer or query to what we were seeing earlier and you'll see the JSON here and let's look at one more this is for Pokemon again but uh, GraphQL version of that and this is the default version um, query they give you to look at and it's a little more advanced so let's jump into it as I said, you could give a query name, so this is their sample. <clears throat> and what we're actually grabbing here is, I believe, yeah, so we're grabbing Gen 3 species is something we're actually naming here. And this right here is, I guess, the GraphQL equivalent of a function call. Um, and you can give parameters to this so we see pokemon v2 
generation v2 is i think the name of the api um um and then it's got its sort of um conditional to grab just this so we're searching through generation three in this this example and then they create go into how to do an aggregate which we're not going to worry too much about right now um or what i'm going to demonstrate though uh, is how you can pass in variables and how we can then use um, dynamic content with that so to create a variable you're going to put um, uh, these parentheses here and because you're making this a function call pretty much and we're going to call this generation and we're going to give it a type of string because that's what this is right here and then we're going to pass this here and by default we haven't we aren't sending any variables but they'll usually display that this at the bottom and so we're going to pass in the json and they actually auto complete it looks like so we're going to do what they said was generation three and when, when we run we get the same thing so let's take this to cornerstone now do uh recommend starting in the explorer that they give you if they give you explorer they usually do if they do in graphql um because this is all like generated controls that you see on this right here and let's get a new api tester and just kind of go over this so we're in customize for the api tester going to do you know, keep that um, well first let me uh, turn this off for run open up GraphQL and then we're just gonna post this in for now and that's all good we're going to grab this endpoint and it actually said post next to it as to what you need to do. I'm gonna click run now and we shouldn't and it's actually giving me an error. So let's actually pass in the variable. So just like we saw in the other UI, I'm gonna do generation II or well yeah, let's do II. So that's generation two, whereas we were grabbing generation three before. And right here, you know, th this is more for abstracting to make it easier to read. So you could pass in dynamic content right here just to make the query out or the variables outside of the query. Of course, you could just pay post dynamic content in here too. So I hope this helped. And maybe final thoughts is you're always going to use JSON and another thing about GraphQL it always sends to data and it always sends error as the key when there's an error so you're pretty much always going to do this if you're trying to loop through um, if you're getting sent back an array I should say um, this data key would be data gen 3 species we are aggregating uh, multiple keys and multiple collections so if you wanted to do that you could do that um and just the way queries work you know it you can very much mold um what data you're going to be sent back to what you're going to use it for um i hope this was a great primer for you on graphql um it is a bit of a learning curve but you know jumping forum will help you out there um theme co signing out much love